Payne Sander, one of the biggest names in boating in the country and has been for a long, long time. This is the 565R. This is the boat that's been designed to suit every man. You can tow it behind the average family vehicle, drop the canopies back down, and this boat will go into the average family garage. Being a runabout, traditionally, it can be quite hard to get all your dashboard laid out well, but have a look at this one. Plenty of facility for great big electronics, all your instruments and gauges well laid out and right at hand where you need them. Now the boat comes standard with pedestals. I don't personally like pedestals myself, so I think they've done the wise thing by opting up to full strong fiberglass seat boxes, which give you all that storage facility and nice, comfortable, beautifully trimmed shell type seats that swivel and adjust. We've got full length bunks, and you could put a bunk divider in there as well if you wanted to sleep two uh, nice and close together. You could also put a toilet in the bunks as well. You can get out to the front hatch very easily if you need to, but up front we've also got a beautifully moulded bowsprit, enclosing the anchor and enclosing the full anchor winch as well. Look at the size of the storage under the floor. And most importantly, that's all foam lined as well, just like a huge big esky. Also, range is important. When we're going offshore, we're traveling a lot of miles nowadays. You're gonna go forever on a 185 litre under four fuel tank. The big wow factor for the 565R has to be its offshore ability. That thing would just eat anything we threw at it. It would take tight turns at high speeds and when trimmed would lift the bow brilliantly. One of the best five and a half metre hulls for sale today. Haynes still proudly use wood in their stringers and they claim that there's no other material that offers the same combination of weight, uh, shock dampening and soundproofing as timber. And as long as it's encased properly in fiberglass, you don't have rot issues. So they've stuck with timber when a lot of other boat companies have gone for composites in their stringers. And I've got to say, the proof is in the pudding. That boat rides extremely well. It's the kind of rig that you can set up quite nicely for a little bit of trolling. It's a nice little bottom fishing type of rig. And it's one that mom, dad, and the kids would have a good time on as well. 2.4 metre beam gives a big internal volume. Big high gunnel rails so you can lock yourself in with tow holds all the way around, including at the transom. We've got a big live bait tank in the, in the back corner here. That's fully plumbed and it's round inside. So the fish keep schooling around, keeps them alive longer. That pump also serves to run a full deck wash. So with the, the gel coat floor, with a bit of carpet in the middle, you've got the best of both worlds and you're gonna keep the whole rig nice and clean. You've actually got a lockable rear door. There's a platform either side to get onto, add a little ladder on the back and away you go. You know what, the last thing you want when you pull that gummy shark on board and it's thrashing all around the deck is for its tail to go wiping out your batteries and plumbing in your bilge. Look how easy it is here, it's well secured. Dual battery system here and all your bilge pumps and plumbing is where you can get to it to clean it really easily. The Mercury 150 horsepower four stroke. It's a beautiful match on the 565R. You can buy packages that go right down to 115 horsepower and if you opt up to the limited package, you can actually opt them right up to 200 horsepower for an absolute speed demon. But for my liking, 150 horsepower Merc suits me just fine. In order to fit that lovely big motor on a 5.65 boat and still get it into your standard six metre garage, they actually have an engine well doorway that folds forward to allow you to fully tilt the engine up when it's at rest and fit it into your garage without actually compromising eating into your deck space. For that reason, you're getting a lot more boat for size than you would in others and therefore I think it's great value for money. It starts in the uh, mid-50s, uh, depending on what you get on the back. The boat as tested was in the high 70s, uh, which is pretty good value, I think, for, uh, for what you're getting. Boat with good uh, offshore credibility, and plenty of room, and a really high quality finish. And here it is, the proof of the pudding. Up and running, Haynes Hunters have always performed beautifully. And there's a reason. They have got a very heavy build in the fiberglass construction. But you'll also notice there's no clatter and bang at all. And that's because it's fully foam filled 
full matrix underfloor design and a really nicely lined cabin. So any hull noise is just sound deadened as well. That's the way to build a boat.